What's going on guys? Today I bring you some of the latest news surrounding Destiny and Destiny 2. But before we go any further, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Okay, so we know Destiny 2 is fast, fast approaching and I just cannot wait. But it's being confirmed that there will be ways for us to showcase our accomplishments from Destiny 1 within Destiny 2. So how will we do this? So within Destiny 2, you can showcase your accomplishments from Destiny 1 in your character select screen. Notice at the top of the image on screen now, you can see this epic looking banner. While there are things you can do now within Destiny 1, and you only have a certain time to get these things done, and they will reward you banners for Destiny 2, which you'll showcase right there at the top of your character select screen. Now I'm quoting Bungie here. Fair warning to those of you who joined us in progress. Some of these emblems have been reserved for guardians who stood together during specific triumphant moments in time. The four emblems that fall into that category are strictly about commemorating and respecting the deeds of those who were there with us at the beginning of our first and second year of adventures. Two, however, are still actively achievable as part of their Age of Triumph record book, and one is tied directly to your Grimoire score. We'll be tracking the deeds associated with these rewards until August 1st, 2017. After that, the data will be frozen in time so we can begin the migration process for the launch of Destiny 2. Okay, so the emblems and banners you can earn are as follows. Laurel Triumphant. You completed a moment of triumph during Destiny's first year. Luria Primer 2. You completed all 10 moments of triumph during Destiny's first year. Slayer of Oryx. You only taken king and completed a moment of triumph during Destiny's second year. Heard the call. You only taken king and completed all 8 moments of triumph during Destiny's second year. Young Wolf. You owned Rise of Iron and reached a rank 2 in the Age of Triumph record book. Saladin's Pride, you owned Rise of Iron and reached a rank 7 in the Age of Triumph record book. Law Scholar, you achieved a Grimoire score of over 5000 in Destiny 1. So three of these are still available for you to grind for if you haven't reached what's needed to get them already. Young Wolf, Saladin's Pride and Law Scholar. And the deadline for you to do these is August 1st. So get grinding if you need to. Here is what's coming event wise to help you out and help you reach ranks in the record book and earn you that grimoire. Obviously Trials of Osiris is every weekend. July the 4th will get Iron Banner. July 4th also Kings 4 will be that week's featured raid. July 11th the Wrath of the Machine will be that week's featured raid. July 18th it will be Crotus End as the week's featured raid. July 18th will also be the start of the Daybreak month which I've been waiting for. July 25th will be the Volta Glass weekly featured raid. And the week coming with August 1st which is deadline day and it's also the day the Age of Triumph shirt offer expires. So yes people if you want to showcase some of your accomplishments within Destiny 2 from Destiny 1 get what you can done. Most of you will already have these things done though, but this is here just to help you guys, it's like a guide for you. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, I do have a few other interesting videos coming on points taken directly from the weekly update, so stay tuned for them. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing